This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCAT says, what is the prime factorization of 150? So in order to find the prime factorization of 150, we have to first know what a prime number is. Again, a prime number is defined as a number that's only divisible by one in itself, and that does not include one. So the first few prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, and 11. So in other words, we're gonna use a factor tree as well as these prime numbers to find the prime factorization of 150. So let's get started. Uh, what prime number can we multiply by something to get 150? What about five, which is prime times 30? Five times 30 is 150. All right, so now we're gonna break down 30. Uh, what prime number can we use to break down 30? What about three? times 10, three times 10 is 30. Now let's break down 10. Uh, what two prime numbers can we multiply together to get 10? What about five and two? Five times two is 10, both of those are prime. So our prime factorization is gonna be five times three times five times two. And we usually write that from least to greatest. So it's gonna look like this, two times three times five times five. If we multiply this out very quickly, what do we get? Two times three is six. Six times five is uh, 30. 30 times five is 150. We can see that this is not an answer choice because again, what is five times five? Five times five is the same thing as five squared. So this is two times three times five squared. So our prime factorization is B, two times three times five squared, and again, if you don't want to use the factor tree to figure this one out, you can quickly multiply all this out and it will get you 150. Two times three times five squared. Uh, two times three is six. Five squared is five times five are 25. Six times 25 is 150. Therefore, I'm confident that we identified the correct prime factorization of 150.